So in this tutorial, we're diving into Adobe Firefly, Marion B. Not just to talk about what it can do, but to actually explore it in action. Whether you're completely new to it or you've tested a few prompts before, the goal here is to walk through how this tool works in real use across different styles, categories, and creative ideas. I'll guide you through a variety of prompts and creative outputs, and you'll be able to follow along visually to see how everything unfolds in real time. One of the first things you'll notice about Adobe Firefly is how approachable it feels. There's no clutter, no complicated menus. It just invites you to start creating. Everything happens within a single interface, and you can tell it's been designed to keep your focus on the results rather than the process. Even just typing a few words into a prompt can lead to something surprisingly polished. To kick things off, we're starting with a fairly open-ended concept, something futuristic and cinematic. That kind of idea gives the AI a lot of room to be creative. You'll see a few different variations load in, and it's always interesting to notice how each one interprets the same prompt slightly differently. Some might lean into the lighting, others into the atmosphere or structure, and that variety is a big part of what makes Firefly so fun to use. As we scroll through the results, you'll get a better sense of how much detail Adobe's engine can pack into an image, even without hyper-specific prompts. There's a lot of nuance in how it handles things like lighting, scale, or mood. Sometimes one result might feel more grounded, while another version goes a little more surreal or stylized. That kind of flexibility makes it useful whether you're designing something for a brand, a personal art project, or even a video thumbnail. Now, as we move on to the next prompt, you'll notice a bit of a shift in style. This time, we're aiming for something more illustrative, something that might look at home in a graphic novel or a digital poster. And again, with just a few adjustments, Firefly gives you outputs that feel like they belong to an entirely different category. These aren't just small tweaks. The textures, lines, and overall tone shift pretty dramatically depending on what you're going for. The cool thing is that you don't need to constantly switch between tools or tabs to get different looks. Whether you're experimenting with a realistic photo vibe or something closer to vector art, everything stays right in front of you. That keeps the whole process fluid and focused. And if you've ever felt like other AI tools pull you out of the creative flow, Firefly does a good job of keeping that momentum going. Now we're testing out another direction, something with a fantasy or dreamlike quality. Think floating islands, glowing elements, strange lighting. And again, you'll see how the engine responds to that kind of imaginative prompt. It doesn't just slap together a random mix of things. The compositions still feel intentional, like someone actually took time to think about balance and storytelling. And the best part? You can scroll slowly through everything without missing a detail. The edges, the light flares, the shadows in the background. It's all there to explore. Even when the results aren't perfect, there's usually something useful or inspiring that comes out of every batch. It's not just about getting one perfect image. It's about getting ideas you might not have thought of on your own. Now we're going to experiment with something more human-centered. Portraits or characters, but with a dramatic twist. Maybe it's someone standing in the rain with cinematic lighting or a stylized figure rendered in 3D. Whatever it is, you'll see how Firefly handles emotion and texture in a way that feels more advanced than most image generators out there. There's a level of polish that makes it feel like you could use these images in real projects, not just for inspiration. And if you're paying attention to how the colors shift between each version, you'll notice how Firefly interprets things like mood and expression differently in each output. Some results lean darker and more serious, while others feel more vibrant or surreal. That's part of the magic. You're not just getting copies, you're getting creative variations that can each take your idea in a new direction. Now that we've explored some creative directions and seen a few prompt results in action, let's keep going and test how far Firefly can really stretch. What makes this tool exciting isn't just how fast it generates images, it's how surprisingly versatile the outputs can be. Whether you're aiming for cinematic drama, playful art styles, or something completely off the wall, Firefly gives you a starting point that actually feels usable and worth building on. At this stage, you've probably noticed how the results don't follow a single formula. One version might come out looking photorealistic and polished, while the next has a soft, dreamy, almost hand-painted quality. 
and that's what keeps things interesting with Samier. You never fully know what to expect. Even using the same prompt twice can lead to two completely different moods or visual structures. And when you're working on something that needs to stand out, that unpredictability can be your best friend. As we move through some more prompts, watch how Firefly handles different themes and subjects. Maybe now we're shifting from fantasy worlds to moody character portraits or high contrast editorial looks. Each image brings something a little different to the table. It's not just changing colors and textures. The tool interprets concepts in its own creative way, which makes the whole experience feel more collaborative than mechanical. We're also experimenting with image formats, switching between horizontal, vertical, and square aspect ratios. And this actually affects more than just the shape. It changes how the AI builds the composition. In vertical mode, for example, it might pull the subject in closer or stack elements differently to make better use of the height. And when you flip to horizontal, it might stretch the background, reposition the lighting, or even change the flow of the scene entirely. That's something that's easy to overlook but really powerful if you're creating for different platforms. A wide layout might be perfect for a video thumbnail, while a vertical one is better suited for mobile stories or social media. Instead of cropping or manually resizing everything, Firefly just gives you new variations that fit those formats naturally. Now we're testing out even more experimental combinations. Things like a futuristic city made entirely of musical instruments, or a portrait of a tiger wearing cyberpunk armor in a vaporwave style. You'll see how Firefly doesn't just throw random elements together. It actually tries to blend them into something cohesive and aesthetically balanced. There's a clear effort to make sure the composition feels complete, even when the concept is totally out there. And as we scroll through the results, it's worth slowing down and really looking at the details. Notice how the lighting plays across different surfaces, how the background fades into depth, or how the AI sometimes introduces subtle design choices like reflections or color harmonies that feel surprisingly intentional. It's those little things that turn a decent image into something memorable. Even when the output isn't exactly what you imagined, there's often something in it that sparks a new idea. Maybe it's a shape, a shadow, a framing technique, and you take that element and use it in your next prompt or even in a totally different project. That's why Firefly works so well as an idea generator. It's not about chasing perfection with every single image. It's about building momentum creatively. And another underrated part of this process is how relaxing it can be. With some tools, it feels like you're racing against time or trying to outsmart the interface. But here you can take your time, explore what the tool is giving you, and follow your curiosity without pressure. It's more like sketching than executing the fun part of the creative process without the friction. As we get toward the end of this tutorial, hopefully you're seeing that Firefly isn't just a flashy AI tool. It's something that can actually become part of your regular creative routine. Whether you're making visuals for YouTube, branding, storyboards, or just experimenting for fun, the results are strong enough to give you something to build on and flexible enough to match your own style. And once you've spent some time with it, it gets even easier to dial in what you're looking for. You start to figure out how certain phrases shape the image or how mixing different themes creates more original results. Every session becomes more personalized, more intuitive, and way more rewarding. The more you use Firefly, the more you realize you're not just saving time, you're You're unlocking a kind of creative flow that's spiced, visual, and surprisingly fun.